from our thermal camera. Uh, seeing dragon coming back down to earth right there. Yeah, this is amazing. This is the first shot of the Dragon Cap. So coming back uh, as part of the inspiration for Mission, uh, the crowd here is super excited seeing that for the first time as well. Um, so yeah, a couple minutes left of um, the blackout period, and uh, we should be getting comms reestablished with the crew here shortly. What you're seeing on your screen right now is on the left-hand side. That is Mission Control Hawthorne. Dragon, GPS converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Copy that, SpaceX. We show the same. And those comms confirm that we have regained comms with Dragon, uh, and they're getting ready for Drogue deploy here shortly. Yeah, I love these tracking shots. Uh, again, that is Dragon in the center of your screen. Uh, we've got visuals of it, and we're expecting um, Drogue shoots deploy to deploy, and then the main shoots shortly after that here in a couple of minutes. Four crews return, uh, waiting on drogue shoot deploy. That happens at about 18,000 feet. Dragon, brace for drogue window. Got that SpaceX, we're bracing. <laughs> on re-entry, the team is experiencing uh, about three to five Gs. Um, We heard some words to, to have them brace for a drogue deploy. Uh, they will feel uh, the difference in speed when the uh, shoots do deploy. Um, that was what the, co the uh, core mentioned there. That's such a cool shot of Dragon uh, coming back down to Earth. It looks very fast uh, in this camera view here. This is a great shot of Dracking looking up Come at the drug you. shoots. A lot of communication going back and forth between the crew uh, and ground station, but the drogue's job is to slow the vehicle down from about 350 miles an hour to 120. We are expecting the main shoots for these to cut off and the main shoots to come uh, shortly after this. <laughs> Dragon, these are four healthy moons. Dragon, the satellite nominal. You have visual from the Covey forces. Covey that space, thanks, good news. <laughs> And at 4.04 p.m. Pacific time, we do have confirmation that the main shoots have deployed. And you can see that on your left-hand screen of a camera looking forward uh, above the Dragon capsule, looking at those four main shoots. 1,000. Copy, 1,000. 
<laughs> the next event coming up now is a visual confirmation of Splashdown. You can see the Dragon Capsule on your right-hand screen uh, slowly coming down now. We've, we've talked about how fast the vehicle uh, has been traveling, um, but they will be touching down approximately 15 miles per hour when they touch the uh, Atlantic Ocean there. 800, say six. <laughs> you copy 800. Now the, the Dragon One program had great success with the water landing with 20 successful splashdowns over the course of that program, nine of which were carried out by flight-proven Dragon spacecraft. And this is a great shot. Dragon continuing to descend back towards Earth, again targeting a landing, uh, excuse me, a splashdown off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Copy 600. Copy 400. Two hundred, we're bracing. We copy two hundred. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Your mission has shown the world that space is for all of us and that everyday people can make extraordinary impacts in the world around them. Thank you for sharing your leadership, hope, generosity, and prosperity. And congratulations on your incredible journey. Thanks so much, SpaceX. It was a heck of a ride for us. It's just getting started. Copy, just getting started. So welcome back, <laughs> Inspiration4. The Dragon Resilience Capsule has returned. The crew has returned. Uh, what a phenomenal, phenomenal visual that we got. Um, and I love that Jared said, we're just getting started. <laughs> 